Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here. Today, I'm going to teach you something really quick about material thicknesses and one of the challenges that designers face whenever they work with material thicknesses and designs that have slots in them. For example, let me jump right into it. These five different materials are materials that I have here in the office and they were all labeled or sold as quarter inch material. But check this out. When you measure them, this one's 0.229. 0 0.223, 0 0.216, 0 0.211, and as thin as 0 0.208. So right away you should see the problem here because these are all labeled quarter inch, but they are nowhere near a quarter inch thick. Now let me introduce another part of the problem. I've got a bunch of different slots here that I cut at different sizes. For example, this one I cut at 0.25. You can already tell before I even test them that none of these are going to work in here. They're going to fall right through because they are far thinner than 0.25. And to make matters worse, or to explain the problem even more, if you know anything about kerf, when I cut this 0.25 inch slot, it's actually approximately 0.01 thicker than that or, or bigger. So it's actually around 0.26 the actual slot is. So right away, you can see one of the dilemmas that designers face because if we make something with a slot that is quarter inch or quote quarter inch, then right away it's going to be either 0.25 or 0.26 thick, depending on whether we accommodate for kerf. And all along, the vast majority of you have got materials that are labeled quarter inch, but they're nowhere near quarter inch. So right away, we've got to decide one of two things. A, do we make the slot at quarter inch knowing a couple things, knowing that none of our materials are going to fit in it, and probably none of your materials are as well, so you're going to have to adjust for it anyway, no matter what. In fact, almost nobody is going to have material that actually fits in this slot. So you, as the buyer or as the user, are going to end up having to adjust the slot no matter what. The other option that we have is to make it to fit one of the materials that we have on hand but you know what that does? That also then means automatically that unless you've got this exact material, you are going to have to adjust it again as well. So you can see right away, almost no matter what we do, the vast majority of users are going to have to adjust a slot no matter what. Let me just uh, keep going forward here for just a second. So for example, you see this uh, 0 0.208. If I go all the way down to a slot that is 0 0.21, you see that it still falls all the way through real easily. So this was sold by um, a supplier as quarter inch. Check this one out. This was sold as quarter inch, which I'm not saying that they did anything wrong, except that's just the nature of materials. So you see this quarter inch at 0.21 still does not fit. So as you are working with different files that are labeled different things, understand that this is what every single designer goes through. They either have got to choose a, to make the slots at 0 .20, uh, 0 0.25 and know that nothing's going to fit, uh, everyone's going to have to adjust, or they make it for the material that they have on hand, once again, knowing that everyone's going to have to adjust. So when you're buying something, just in conclusion, understand that adjusting the slot for the material that you have is totally normal and something you just need to embrace and don't necessarily think that the designer did anything wrong when they label it at these different thicknesses because this is just the nature of the game. I've got other videos to show you how to adjust, but I wanted to explain the reason why adjusting is necessary. I hope this helps. Let me know how I can serve you guys because I want to help you create great things faster. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.